So in this video, we're going to go from iClone to Omniverse using the new connector. That, that was a bit of a pause there. So let's use this project as an example, and I'm going to show you how the connector is going to work. So I've already downloaded iClone 8.1 through the Regolution Hub. And also, if you're in uh, Omniverse, make sure you've downloaded that connector as well. 8.1, where are you? There you are. So over into Omniverse, we need to set up a little bit over here. Um, we select the root layer, make sure the world access is Z is up um, and our time codes per second is 60 seconds because obviously the animation for my clone is 60 seconds. We'll bring it over 60 seconds, fairly straightforward. Now we need to create a brand new USD file. Important, important, make sure it's saved under the Omniverse icon. Um, you can't have it saved under my computer, so make sure it's under saved under like local host or create your own server, blah, 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 needs to be saved there. If it's not, it doesn't work. Trust me, I spent many a time, hours, minutes, trying to work it out. So let's start off, file, save as, I'm just going to save this file as Le Testing Funsies. That's not how you spell it, but anyway, good try. Let's go save. I'm going to select the USD file, right click, copy URL link. Keep that for later. Now over into iClone, you can see that we've got our bar up the top here. If it's not there, plugins, Omniverse, and just put a tick next to the toolbar. I'm going to first click on the Omniverse Live Sync, and I want to do a link. So I want to do kind of like that live connection. Um, here we can pick what do we want to send over. Uh, let's just send over everything, the props, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Let's close that. Let's click the lightning bolt. And I'm going to put in that paste, that uh, the copy and paste that we just did. I'm going to press OK. We've got a thunderbolt. That means it is connected back over into Omniverse. From here, we need to turn on live in the top right-hand corner. Bam. Uh, Reillusion. There we go. Um, that's now got that connection. We can see that we're live. From here, back into iClone, I'm just gonna transfer everything across. This might take a little bit, or maybe not, I don't know. It's only gonna take a little bit because I've only transferred the one character at the moment. So we need to make sure that we select all our characters. However, I'm just gonna use him for now. Now, if I have the timeline down the bottom and I press play, nothing happens. This is a bad example because this character doesn't have any animation. So let's select him. I'm going to transfer this character over and this one will take a little bit longer because there's a lot more animation. So that's now come across. Let's go into Omniverse. Our chap is there. If I press play, nothing's going to happen. And that's because we've got the live link enabled. So if I come into Omniverse, press play, uh, then we come back into, sorry, into iClone Omniverse. The timeline is not playing, but iClone is playing and we can see our animation is playing. What's so good about this? I will tell you what's so good about this. NVIDIA Omniverse allows this absolutely awesome collaboration where um, different users can be accessing the same USD file and can be editing the USD file at the same time. So I can see what they're changing, they can see what I'm changing, they can see the animation, blah, 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 blah. Amazing, I can tell you that now. So from here, if we want to save everything down, we top right hand corner where it says live, the little drop down, we're going to go end and merge. And that's going to bring everything down from iClone and save it into this USD file. So now we're no longer connected to Omniverse. I mean, iClone. So if we jump over into here, we can see I, Omniverse line, uh, has ended. Um, what I want to do though, is there's some extra options which we could have enabled. So let's click the Thunderbolt. Uh, we'll click OK to connect up again. Um, let's just jump back into Omniverse Live. Yes, please. Now we've got that connection set up. Back into iClone. What we can do is click the little options button. And then we can actually add in subdivision mesh, path trace mesh, so on and so forth. And 